Okay, so this room was the personal library of the yeah, office of Dr. Du Bois. In this room, we have up to 1,500 books right here. Some of the books were written by Dr. Du Bois himself. We have from this top shelf to the fifth one written by him. We have the down part written by the second wife, Mrs. Shirley Graham. When he was coming to Ghana, he came along with the rest. All the shelves we see in this room are filled with books Dr. Du Bois read. We have these two shelves. They are the same books. The book entitled In Battle for Peace. With this book, Dr. Du Bois left pictures of himself. He left pictures with friends, pictures with family. And this book was a present to visitors who paid Dr. Du Bois a visit whilst he was here in Ghana. So if we had been here earlier, if we'd have met him right here in this room, we'd have gotten one one each. But unfortunately, we didn't meet him, so we don't give it up. Mm. <laughs> in all, we learned Dr. Du Bois published 1,975 works. His writings, publishment, editing, everything was up to 1,975. Mm. We have a picture of Dr. Du Bois from when he was a little boy young man till old age. The picture we see on our top right is Dr. Du Bois at the age of four years and not a girl. We have original piece of furniture Dr. Du Bois sat on right in this room. They said if you want to hide something from a black man, you have to hide it in the book. Oh. Dr. Du Bois was sitting right here on this chair, looking for what was hidden in this book we have right here. Right. So I have a little activity, or you can call it a little test for us all in this room. Let's say it's from women and men, like I see. <laughs> so it's a test, a competition we have right here. Please have a clear and a closer look at this curtains, especially this circular pattern. What does it look like? Spider web. A spider's web. It was a lady who answered, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's imagine this is a spider's web. We've won the first one already. Let's, <laughs> this is a spider's web. Imagine it's a spider's web. What connection does it have with Dr. Bates? It connects Pan Africanism. I, I mean, Great answer. It, Something else, don't think for maybe something about himself alone. It, it radiates from. Pardon? Okay. I heard the answer somewhere. It's strong, somebody said. W E B, Webb, the initials of Dr. Yeah. Du Bois. Oh. William Edward Begard Du Bois. Ah, so W E B yeah. when it added it's a spelling of a web. Yeah, so they use these yeah, initials yeah. to design this curtain. Oh. So this was designed for him. <laughs> for him. Oh that I oh, I like that. So the ladies won, right? Yeah. 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 Of course. <laughs> Yeah, please proceed into the restroom. <laughs> 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 Where? Oh, yeah, my favorite president. Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yeah, that's the Yeah. Oh, no, hold on. We haven't finished. So, when it is, do it well. All your money at the bank. What is your goal? So, 
you know the I don't know mess around about where you are coming from. I think it's just one more person. Oh, okay. Jesus, if they are coming to Ago. Ago. So this space was the dining room of Doctor Boys. We have the kitchen block right here. This hall we see leads to the kitchen. So when food was prepared, it was brought through this hall, then to the dining room. As I said, Doctor Boys didn't have a loan, but came with the second wife, Mrs. Shirley Graham. So right here we have their picture of their first arrival in Ghana. That's Doctor Boys at the age of 93. The second wife, Mrs. Shirley Graham. That's in Krumah, Ghana's first president we have right there. Nice. <laughs> A picture of Nkuma himself, Ghana's first president. <laughs> when Dr. Du Bois came to Ghana, the robe he wore when he was being added by the University of Ghana Legal. That's Yolanda, the daughter who died at the age of 60 years due to heart attack. In this picture, we have the last birthday, and 95th birthday, Dr. Du Bois celebrated right here in this house. You can use the doors and the windows to testify these pictures were taken right here in the show. That's the cane he received from China on his 91st birthday. Malcolm X visited to Ghana. He came here purposely for Nkrumah, Ghana's first president. That was a year after Dr. Du Bois has passed out. Decided to come to this house to pay Shelley a visit. And this picture was taken right here on this compound. Du Bois' message, he says, now is the accepted time. Not tomorrow, not some more convenient season. It is today that our best work can be done, and not some future days, no future years. Tomorrow comes the harvest and the playtime. Dr. Du Bois is telling you, if you have plans, if you have something to do, start now. Don't wait till you are old, where you can't even lift a finger. Then you start to live in regrets. You plan today, harvest tomorrow, and enjoy. While Malcolm X says, I'm for truth no matter who tells it. I'm for justice no matter who it is for or against. I'm human being first and foremost. And as such, I'm for whoever and whatever benefits humanity as a whole. Are we still fighting for right and justice? Are we doing things to benefit humanity? We are doing things to benefit ourselves only. If not for ourselves, then money, then power. Now we prefer to choose these things over family. If you don't have money and power, you won't gain justice. Are we on the right path? So you can please have a sit on these two stools we have right there. Then you take a picture with the Black History Month we celebrated right here in Canada, in the month of February. Please okay. feel free to take pictures. <laughs> Is this part of your new outfit? Pardon? It don't really match. <laughs> yeah. I have to put it on. We are having a program downstairs. I have to change to black. Oh, there's too much flesh showing? <laughs> yeah. This, we're, well, we're, not, we're not in Tanzania. <laughs> but yes, I do understand this. I love this right here. This is beautiful right here. Uh -huh. Look at this presentation, family. You know, some of yeah. Uh, we got a lot of a good. They got a lot. As a they got a lot of the legends on here. And then one of my favorite books of all time. Dun, 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 dun. Dr. Tony Martin. Race first. Race first. Yeah, yeah race first. Yeah, I problem. go. Okay. So this room was once the guest room of Dr. Du Bois. 
but because he's a man of education, he stood for education, this room has now been turned into a public library. Mm. We have 3,500 plus books here like science, novels, history, autobiography. We have some collections of Dr. Du Bois books. So please feel free to come around at your leisure time and read any book of your choice. When you come in to use the library, there's no need for payment. You just sign in, you walk in. You can read them here, but you can't check them out. But when Dr. Du Bois was coming to Ghana, it seems he thought this land was his final home. He came along with these three samples we have right here. We have a soil sample from where he was born and bred, that's Great Barrington at Massachusetts. Came with water. Also a soil sample from where he buried his first wife with two kids. He says he will use this soil to console himself any time he misses his family. There's no need for him to travel forth and back. With the water. Normally we have this belief that when a person is going to die, the person should at least taste water because we don't know how far the grave site is. We also believe in reincarnation. We don't know when the person is going to meet its next family. The water will help them halfway through the journey. He believed in that. He made a request, but unfortunately he died in his sleep, so the water wasn't able to be given to him. We are so happy. From this room, we, have, we head to the seminar hall of Dr. Du Bois, then to the gravesite where he's buried to pay the great man his last respect. To the next room, please. This way. Next room. Yes, family, the journey continues. Isn't this a beautiful illustration? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 